Good morning. Good morning. Thank God for another day. This is the International Sunday School lesson for March 24th, 2024. The title of the lesson is Living in Faith. The lesson scripture is actually Acts 6 chapter verse 7 through 15, but I will be reading Acts 6 chapter verse 1 through 15. Uh, again, this is the International Sunday School lesson living in faith, and we'll be discussing Stephen, Deacon Stephen. But let's begin with prayer. Heavenly Father God, we thank you for this opportunity you've given us to study your word. Let this word go into our hearts that we might not sin against thee, to let our light shine, that men may see our good works and glorify you, the Father which is in heaven. Amen. Okay. Now, this lesson is very important for today. And I'm going to go ahead and read the scriptures, then we'll get right into the explanation and discussion. Starting at Acts 6, chapter verse 1. And in those days, when the number of the disciples was multiplied, there rose a murmuring of the Grecians against the Hebrews because their widows were neglected in the daily ministration. Then the twelve called the multitude of the disciples unto them and said, it is not reason that we should leave the word of God and serve tables. Wherefore, brethren, look ye out among you seven men of honest report, full of the Holy Ghost and wisdom, whom we may appoint over this business. But we will give ourselves continually to prayer and to the ministry of the word. And the saying pleased the whole multitude, and they chose Stephen a man full of faith and of the Holy Ghost, and Philip, and Prochorus, and Nicanor, and Timon, and Parmenius, and Nicholas, a proselyte of Antioch, whom they set before the apostles, and when they had prayed, they laid hands on them. And the word of God increased, and the number of the disciples multiplied in Jerusalem greatly, and a great company of the priests were obedient to the faith. And Stephen, full of faith and power, did great wonders and miracles among the people. Then there arose certain of the synagogue, which is called the synagogue of the Libertines, and the Cyrenians, and the Alexandrians, and of them of Cilicia, and of Asia disputing with Stephen. And they were not able to resist the wisdom and the spirit by which he spake. Then they were suborned men, which said, we have heard him speak blasphemous words against Moses and against God. And they stirred up the people and the elders and the scribes and came upon him and caught him and brought him to the council and they set up false witnesses which said this man ceased not to speak blasphemous words against this holy place and the law for we heard him say that this Jesus of Nazareth shall destroy this place and shall change the customs which Moses delivered us and Hall that sat in the council looking steadfastly on him saw his face as it had been the face of an angel. Now, there are observations from the background and lesson scripture of this lesson. One, the church membership did not grow, which is today's focus. But the disciples were multiplied. The disciples grew. A mythesis, which is Greek for disciple, adheres to the teachings of their master and make those teachings their way of life in all actions and behavior. Again, let me go back. This scripture says that the disciples were multiplied. It didn't say the church membership was multiplied. And again, a mythesis. A disciple adheres to the teaching of their master 
and makes those teachings their way of life in all actions and behaviors. Their work is to make other disciples of the master's teachings. What a different world it would be if the church would add discipleship instead of membership. Jesus' charge was to make disciples. Methetheo. Second observation. The first problem of the early church is the church problem of today. It is how we mistreat and underserve others who are not part of the inside church clique or group. The early church problem was believers who spoke and read Greek and was from different places versus the Hebrew believers from Jerusalem and Judea. Today is black, white, Hispanic, non-Hispanic, Asian, Protestant, Catholic, Baptist, Methodist, etc. Whether mass group or subgroup, we are all believers and our treatment of each other will be judged as Jesus said, you will know my disciples for the love they have for one another. Third observation, as the apostles said, their focus was to pray, preaching, and ministering the word of God. They allowed the membership to choose the deacons of the church. The qualifications being a man of, of good, honest report, full of the Holy Ghost and wisdom. These qualifications, according to 1 Timothy 3, 8 through 13, are similar to a bishop. After choosing by the membership, the apostles prayed and laid consecration hands on them. Now, Stephen, one of the chosen deacons, was full of faith, did wonders, and did miracles. Then other church folk stood up against him to deny the truth of the gospel of God's salvation in Christ Jesus. But their denials and their false doctrines were not able to stand up against the truth of God's wisdom and spirit. So they plotted with collusion against Stephen, using lies, stating Stephen spoke blasphemous against Moses and God. Now, this is done today by religious groups who want money, power, and respect instead of the kingdom of God, salvation, and truth. Therefore, we have to be full of faith. Remember, it said Jesus will save his people from their sins. Those are personal pronouns. It's about your personal relationship with God. So we have to be full of faith to let the spirit speak truth, not to defend a religious doctrine of men. Again, <laughs> we're not speaking the spirit of truth to defend a religious doctrine of men, but we will defend no doctrine, but the doctrine of the Bible, no church, but the church that Christ died for us to be saved by his grace to God be the glory. I hope you enjoyed this brief overview of the International Sunday School lesson. Have a great day and a great week. God bless you.